it's Madame Tumbleweeda. <laughs> Today is a mishmash of both characters. Hence, me not knowing how to present myself. So here I am. So today, I'm going to feature, what could this be? This is a hazelnut or filbert wrapped in God's wrapping paper. Look at this. Look at this insanity. Look how the hazelnut comes wrapped. Look, individually wrapped. Hazelnut, hazelnut, hazelnut. This is an individual right here. It was an individual. This was not, this is a multi-pack. God's wrapping paper. Look how, I mean, what can compare to this? Of everything that I've ever unwrapped, I think this is the most extravagant. Okay? I'm, I'm actually, I've calmed myself down for this because this is so in, insane, insane and intense. And I have to still maintain my madame and tumbleweed in this. So, I believe I got this. Some, this is green usually, and then it, when it when it um, is prepared, see there's a little stem here. This is where it hangs from the tree, and I think that this survived because no squirrels could get to it. It was like hanging on the thinnest little thread of the tree at the edgy edge edge, and. No squirrel got to it because they couldn't get it because they know if they go to that edge they're gonna fall so they're like the little tree monkeys actually squirrels so these were all brown and the tree was completely like wiped out there was nothing left and I really had to look hard for these Kim came with me once when they were just growing and she saw my face when I first saw these so I'm gonna I'm gonna try the individually wrapped one, and I got my nutcrackers. I don't know if my mermaid, my mermaid can opener would work, but just in case I had to smash it, because this is iron, it's like really heavy. I don't think my garlic crusher is gonna work, but it could. You can put it in there once I extract it. You're gonna have to bear with me. This is old-fashioned nastiness. This is modern fashion nutcracker. So I don't even know, you're gonna be with me the first time. I don't even know how to open this. Ah, look, it comes right off. So now we're gonna do some ASMR. This is me unwrapping the package. And look, there's a little hazelnut inside. I'm gonna do a taste test. I didn't even clean this. It's pretty, pretty gnarly, so I'm gonna use this. And I get, look, it has two, two areas for the small nut and the hard nut. So I don't know if I was supposed to harvest this. Oh my gosh, look at this. What a piece of shice. Broken. I, I bash the old fashioned. Watch the old fashioned work, right? The old fashioned might work. If you can grip it. Ugh. Hard as a rock. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I'm such a disappointment. Let me see if garlic crusher works. I don't wanna break my garlic crusher. <clears throat> I think I did it. Oh, garlic crusher came to the rescue. I'm glad I brought these all out here. Well, that doesn't look great. Right. Let's see, is there something inside this? Donde esta? Is there anything left of this for me to eat? Or was it empty? Where's the nut? There's no nut inside? Oh my gosh, I'm so disappointed. What in the heck? Is this like an unfertilized nut? 
No, I don't like this. Oh well, this is what they call anticlimactic. Well, I have three more tries. Maybe the squirrels knew there'd be nothing inside this. This is not, all right. This one doesn't look as brown. Maybe it, rot Maybe it rotted. I'm gonna go with the garlic crusher again, because the garlic crusher worked. amount of force I have to use. Where is it? There's no nut inside. It fooled me. Oh. Oh well. At least you're here to experience the devastation with me. I have two more tries here though. Another hazelnut. What the heck? Is this an unfertilized egg? Just to save, just to save the experience, I have a special appearance by Fig coming up. I'm gonna just try this a couple more times. <sighs> Garlic Crusher is freaking awesome for this. I had no idea. There is no nut inside. What is this empty nut? The syndrome. I'm gonna have to like. I'm gonna have to call up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to report this to the nature authorities. I'm very unhappy. This one's really in there. What in the heck? Last, last try. This is from a Tur Turkish hazelnut tree that is in Central Park that is no longer marked because a little sign came down. That's how I knew it was our Turkish hazelnut. Unbelievable, there's nothing inside here. I am so disappointed. Oh well. Oh well. Well, the, the hazelnut is also known as the filbert. So, moving moving on, moving right along with Madame Tumbleweeda, I'm going to open up this fig I harvested. It's been in my fridge. It's getting shriveled. It's nice and soft. But this is how you open a fig. This is the, as you, as you may or may not know, it's easy to find information. Hello, my one watcher is the fig is an outside in flower. So it grows and the flower's inside and then that's like the top of the flower, but it actually looks like it's the bottom, right? That's the top of the flower and it's a little hole. And in, um, in I guess, regular nature circumstances, there's a fig wasp that goes in that hole and, and, and then pollinates the flower, but, but um, there's no wasps. And then, the, and then it can't escape. It's like a really gory, odd story. Like the, like the fig that the, the, the wasp then loses its wings inside and can't get out. And then the, the pectin within the fig digests the, the wasp. And then you're like eating fig wasp protein. So, but not really. I mean, I don't know what a vegan would say about this um, situation because sometimes when you open, Apparently, some other people, they're nasty, they're nasty videos. Look at that. That's the inside of a fig. Now, this fig was always going to be green, apparently, and all those seeds inside. So those would, the, those would be like the, um, the areas that the wasp would pollinate inside there. And um, what was I going to say? I'm still t thinking about my disappointment with the hazelnuts. Ah, 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 ah. Feed me, Seymour. <laughs> um, yeah, so dried figs are really good too. I, I specifically like soft, dried, black mission figs. And I, when I go to the store, if I do eat fig, if I buy dried fig, which is not very often, because they're super sweet. This is very gelatinous and not very sweet, but sweet enough. And you could drizzle this with um, um, truffle oil and kind of make it a savory kind of thing. I actually like to, I, I, I harvested a bag yesterday, if you didn't see my other video, um, a bag's worth. I harvested a bag's worth and I'm going to cook them. I'm going to stew them and turn it into like a it tastes like pear to me when it's cooked, so 
tastes so much better and it gets it's much sweeter and I'm gonna put cinnamon I'm gonna um, cook up some cinnamon walnuts nutmeg and raisins and make it like a crumble like an apple crumble but a, a fig crumble that's really gonna taste like a pear crumble so that's what I'm gonna do with the, the bag that I harvested but I wanted to eat this one fresh so you could see it and that is my consolation prize for my terrible hazelnut experience so this has been Madame Tumbleweeda and I'll see you soon.